Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the hopper assembly on the Cub Cadet Chipper Shredder, you will need a half-inch wrench and socket, a 3-8 inch socket, a 9-16 inch socket, a 7-16 inch wrench, and an adjustable wrench. Use the half-inch wrench to secure the bolts and the half-inch socket to unthread the nuts, securing the hopper assembly support plate to the impeller housing. Using the half-inch socket, unthread the six mounting nuts securing the front of the hopper assembly to the housing. With the nuts unthreaded, tilt the old hopper assembly back and lift up to fully detach the assembly from the bolts. Set the assembly upside down on a towel or blanket. Use the 7 16 inch wrench and the 3 8 inch socket to unthread the six nuts and bolts, securing the inlet guide to the hopper. With the bolts removed, detach the guide. Next, unthread the two nuts and bolts to release the support plate. Unthread the four nuts and bolts securing the hopper handle. With the handle removed, set the hopper down on its front. Using the 9 16th inch socket to secure the nut, unthread the chute torsion spring shoulder bolt using the adjustable wrench to detach the spring. You're now ready to prepare the new hopper assembly for installation. Confirm the flat washer is aligned on the torsion spring shoulder bolt. With the longer end facing outward, slide the spring onto the bolt. Align the wave washer on the bolt 
with the curved side facing the spring. Now insert the short end of the spring through the hole in the hopper lip as you insert the bolt through the hole in the panel. Thread and tighten the nut to secure. Set the hopper upright on its opening. Align the handle and secure it with the nuts and bolts. Align the support plate and thread the nuts and bolts to secure. Position the inlet guide and thread the six nuts and bolts. Confirm the shredder plate is intact on the impeller housing, then install the hopper assembly by aligning the support plate on the two upper mounting bolts first. Then rotate the assembly to align it on the six impeller housing bolts. Thread and tighten all eight mounting nuts to secure. We recommend hand threading the nuts first then using the socket to tighten once all the nuts are in place. With the new hopper assembly installed, the chipper shredder should be ready for use.